wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we are doing another unboxing. This is the last unboxing for April, and it is Gobstone Alley. I am very excited. We unboxed this box for the first time last month, and I was so impressed. Loads of you guys requested that I made this a series, so here we are. Let's just get straight on into it today, because I'm really, really excited about this one. It's definitely becoming one of my favorite boxes to unbox. So if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. Okay, so I have got my little Stanley knife here to unwrap this. As you can see, it's very heavily wrapped in a bubble wrap and it's the only way to get into it. I do agree with someone's comment from last time I unboxed this that maybe they don't need to use that much bubble wrap just to save the environment and all that, but let's go into it and get this box out. Whoa. Okay, so here we have this month's Gobstone Alley box. This is for the month of April. It's quite heavy this month, which I won't lie, is exciting me a lot. And I showed you the box last time, but I'll just give you another little look. Uh, I love this packaging. I love that it's just brown. It feels very Hogwarts kind of parcel that you can get dropped by an owl. So I do enjoy that a lot, but let's just get straight on into it because these boxes are always full of magic. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the box. So I am a Gryffindor, so I get a red paper, which is exciting. I'm just going to give you a little look. They do have quite a lot of packing peanuts in their boxes, but that's just to keep everything safe. Woo! Okay, so the, let's just get on with the first thing that's on top. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This reminds me of the PE bags that we used to have at school. This is actually really nice. This is a Gryffindor kind of, uh, yeah, how would you, a drawstring bag? So they go like that. I just call them PE bags because that's what I've always called them, but I really love that actually. It's a really nice design and it's a Griffin, it's like a Quidditch bag, team captain. Oh yes, yeah, so we are off to a very good start. That's really nice. It's really nice quality. The rope feels nice and sturdy. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break, but that's really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with that for the first item. We don't get many things like this in these boxes, so I'm very pleased with that. Another Quidditch thing to add to my collection. I can see the wearable, so we have got a t-shirt. Let's have a look. I'm gonna show you guys first. What does this say? <laughs> Have a biscuit, Potter. And I believe that this is a Professor McGonagall quote, if I remember correctly. I'm not majorly into this design, I'm not going to lie, but I do love their t-shirts. They're really great quality. I mean, you can't like every single t-shirt that comes your way, that's absolutely fine, but it's, it's a cool quote t-shirt, I'm not mad about it. Next up we have what I believe is their candle, and you do get one of these in every Gobstone Alley box, which I am personally quite thrilled about. I'm a big fan of candles. Ooh, it's purple. This is, uh, they're made by Incendio Candles, Incendio rather, bad pronunciation, and it's their Divination Candle. These are 100% vegan, and let's have a little, ooh, look, I, I believe that's tea. Is this tea on top? That would make sense with divination. And it smells really lovely, actually. I'm not sure exactly what the scent is, but it's definitely pleasant and I enjoy that. And that can go with my Peppermint Toad one that I got from last month. Oh God, I'm gonna end up with so many candles, I've just realized. I have just seen something incredibly exciting for me because I am a huge, huge fan of Luna Lovegood and I believe that this is her necklace. I absolutely love that. It's on this kind of, turquoise string and it's got some metal loops here that keep the cork on. I really, really love that. That would be perfect for a Luna Lovegood cosplay. Oh yes, that is very, very sweet. Oh, that's a really original idea to put in one of these boxes. I'm actually thrilled with that. I'm always thrilled with the really simple things that come out of these boxes. Last month it was their tiny little potion vial. This month it might be this cork necklace. <laughs> And we have also got another packet of a magical drink. You get one of these in every month as well. This is by Cozy Elves. It's their magical drinks and sweets. What have we got this month? We have got, oh God, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. 
Tassemency with Trelawney. So I'm guessing this is quite a heavy divination themed box, but let's see what this actually is. So it's got Black Mountain Tea, Blue Bottle, do they mean the flies? I, I'm guessing they don't, <laughs> that would be weird. Lavender, blue mallow and aroma. I am actually going to open this because I realized last time that they are resealable and I want to give it a little sniff. Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. Maybe they meant um, these little blue flowers. Uh, maybe they're called blue bottle. Oh, that does smell nice. I do actually have one of the special tea strainers that you can use these in. I mean, you don't need to, but oh yes. Yeah, I like that. It's definitely a nice tea smelling tea. That made sense. I will say that all of their teas are so beautiful just to look at all of the things that they put inside. It just makes it feel really special I mean, in comparison to just normal tea leaves that just look like boring tea leaves they do make them look really really magical and I just think they're really special so I'm also gonna have a lot of tea in my cupboard what else is in here let's have a look so we have got uh, a little badge this is for the Holyhead Harpies so another Quidditch pin which I love it's got a little golden snitch on there as well so I'm gonna get a lot of badges I'm guessing we get these in every box as well that's a really cute little pin to add to my collection okay let's have a look what are you we have got one of these metal tins this is a licensed product it's a metal wall sign I do have one of these already which says Gryffindor common room not sure where I put it but uh, this is really cool this would be nice to have on the front of your door I think just this is the room of requirement these are really lovely quality and that's really nice to find in this box actually we have also got some uh, okay this is Harry Potter trading card game this is, it says Diagonally booster 11 random game cards. Uh, let's have a look in here. Are uh, these going to be the same as the cards that we're already getting in these boxes? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, it is. They are the same cards that we get in these boxes and there's quite a lot Ooh, look a shiny one I'm getting excited I have a special one which is color changing ink can you see that that's reflective so yeah we get quite a lot of these oh god I'm going to end up starting to collect these aren't I I'm going to end up with a Harry Potter card collection something I did not want to start but here we are Ooh, okay we've also got another chocolate frog card and we have Professor McGonagall and it has all the information on the back these aren't the ones that reflect I'm pretty sure they make these themselves but they are really nice quality cards they feel nice they look great so really pleased with that uh, I'm quite excited that we get these I'm gonna open up this little parcel which I do believe is some more trading cards I find it Okay, it is more trading cards, so they've kind of doubled up on the cards this month, which I guess is fine, since as I've started the collection now, I've got a Clean Sweep 7, a Doxy, Vanishing Step, Sleeping Potion, Fouled, Rose Growth, and Quidditch Lesson. And these ones that they come, these ones in the packet come in little plastic protection folders. That's what I'm going to call them. Are we not going to get another potion this month? I thought they came in every box, but I don't seem to see one, which kind of makes me sad, but never mind. We do have a fairly large thing in here. In fact, I'm going to start off with this. We have got a very mysterious black envelope, which I thought may have been the product list, but that's already in here. So now I'm just like, what could you be? So I'm going to open this one up. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. This is a detention notice. This is really nice. See, I love little details like this that you just wouldn't think of being able to get. So there's a detention notice for Le Neville Longbottom and it's got all the information of the date of the incident, who gave him the detention. <laughs> and there's a little thing here that says he, he got a detention for not using his brain, uh, for losing a list of all passwords for the Gryffindor Tower entrance. <laughs> and, ooh, there's even a blank one. I can hear a little dog outside that's interrupting. Go away, or 
you can get a detention. Yeah, they've given you a blank detention notice, which I guess you could write out for yourself, which is very fun. I do enjoy this. This is a really nice thing that can go into my Instagram prop box with all my magical things. Uh, yeah, that's a really nice little thing. I was not expecting anything like that. And what I believe to be the last thing, which I will have a little double check, is quite a large spiral bound notebook. Ooh, it's, ooh, nice. This is actually unusually square paper. I was expecting lines, but I actually really like the squared paper because it means that I get to be really, really neat and organized. But yeah, so this is a Gryffindor one, which says Seeker on it. This is like really sturdy, actually. This is also licensed, another licensed product, but it's really good quality. So really pleased with that. I don't actually own many A4 notebooks. I tend to get the A5 ones, but these are definitely 100% useful to me. So I'm definitely gonna get my use out of that. And yeah, really nice. This is what was making the box heavy. And after double checking the box, we have come to the end. Let's have a quick little brows to see everything. So yes, this was April's flying parcel. This just lists all of the things that came in the box. We have again had 12 items, which I think is pretty impressive for one of these boxes because none of the others come close to having this many items, which I think is really, really cool. This just explains things in a little bit more detail and it just makes sure that you have all of your items in your box. Wow, okay, what is my favorite item from this month's Gobstone Alley box? It's actually between two things this month. The first one you may be able to guess, the Luna Lovegood necklace, because this is so cool. I was actually gonna try and find one of these on Etsy to do like a Luna cosplay at some point, but this is really, really cool. And I love the cork, I just love, I just love it, I love it a lot. And the second thing which is my favorite is the detention notices and the attention to detail, the fact that they've given one that's already filled out for Neville and they've also given us a blank one as well. So I really, really like these and obviously I love everything else as well. I think my least favorite item may have to be the t-shirt this month. Everything else I really did enjoy, uh, it thrilled me. Hopefully next month we get another one of those little potions because I really did enjoy those um, I'm sure that they will come back. But yeah, what did you guys love out of this month's Gobstone Alley box? Do you think it was as good as last month's? Are you going to subscribe to this box yourself? I cannot wait to unbox next month's because they just come out with things that are a lot more unique and have a little bit more thought behind them which I personally am a massive fan of. So on that note, I am gonna go. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Also, if you would like to get notified every time I upload, you can also click the bell button and it will just notify you when I upload. But don't worry, I'm not a daily uploader, so it will not spam you. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, so many more magical goodies. Seriously, this time of the month, I have like so many Harry Potter things to deal with. <laughs> And before you go, if you did enjoy watching this unboxing, don't forget to watch last month's if you did happen to miss it. Other than that, I'm gonna go. I will see you very soon. Bye.